Hey guys, uh, thanks for checking out our uh, Keep campaign here for our capstone. Um, wanted to start this off by just showing you a little bit about what we're looking to accomplish here. So for our campaigns, we are going to be building two. Um, that's going to be a free opt-in with an upsell to our group coaching program, as well as an offer to our one-on-one -on -one coaching program with some segmentation and um, an actual qualification um, form that they're going to be filling out in order for us to figure out, uh, do we want to offer them the one-on-one -on -one coaching or do we want to downgrade them to our group coaching? So um, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, a little bit about us really quick is that we are a process design company um, uh, first. Uh, what that means is that we're looking for the most efficient and effective way to do something. So everything starts off with a process map so that we can identify the bottlenecks and all that before development, um, before taking on um, costly things that may go wrong, costly mistakes within the process. So we've designed the process here, which you're seeing on the screen of what we want to accomplish and, uh, an idea of what that will look like. So now let's go ahead and jump over to Keep and see how we can take this process and uh, use Keep to uh, uh, support it and make it even more efficient, right? So take it off paper and give it a real live um, um, thing that's happening and that our clients can go through. So let's check it out. So in Keep, this is going to be the first campaign we're looking at. That's going to be our free opt-in. Um, what you will see here um, is it looks a little bit different from the process because depending on the system that we're going through, um, we may have to uh, lay it out differently, right? But it is actually still accomplishing the same thing and using the same um, fundamental process things that we have in our process map. So the first thing we're going to look at is we have our landing page. I'm not going to go ahead and go into that right now because Keep is, uh, for some reason, it is taking me back to the template page instead of bringing me back to my campaign. So uh, we're going to go ahead and not go into that landing page, but I'll tell you a little bit about what's on there. Um, on our landing page, we have a form. On that form um, for our opt-in, we're asking for three things name, email, and which option best fits you. And in that best fits you, we have literally a list of segments, segment one, segment two, segment three. For your business, this could be anything, right? So this could be um, for weight loss, like what type of diet are you on? One, two, or three. Um, it could be, um, what are you trying to solve? One, two, or three, right? And the goal of this is so that we can segment our clients um, so that we know how to market to them in the future. We know what they care about. Um, and that's what we want to pull from there. On that same landing page, when they submit it, it goes to a thank you page. And on that thank you page, we have a button for a one-time offer to join our group coaching program, which is this landing page up here. Um, so we want them to hopefully sign up for our group coaching program, which is $79 a month. Um, and if they do that, great. So let's walk through how this works. They fill out the form. We have a condition here that's trying to figure out, okay, which um, option do they have, right? So on our field, which um, one of the options they pick? segment one, two, or three. If they pick it, it's going to go ahead and add a tag. So if I go in there really quick, I'm going to jump in. It's going to add a tag and boom, send the email to deliver the e-guide that they originally purchased. Um, and then from there, we um, have this thing here. We're waiting for two hours. Basically what we're doing is we want to know, did they take our upsell or not? Right. Um, and so if they didn't buy our, didn't, if they didn't take the upsell within two hours, we're going to add this tag here. And this tag is our um, upsell not purchase tag. And so essentially what's happening is hopefully they buy, they get their email and then boom, that's going to pull them over here, right? So as soon as they purchase, um, as soon as they submit that form, they're going to get this first email and then they're going to go here and they're going to wait for two hours. And we're saying, okay, did they purchase? If they did purchase, then they're going to get this tag once they've purchased, showing that they've made that payment. They're going to get the confirmation for the group coaching and then boom, they're done with the campaign. If they did not, um, I'm mean, sorry, they're going to, in that email, in that thing, they're going to go here, purchase, they're going to go through the process. Once they purchase, they get applied a tag for purchase. That's going to pull them down here, confirmation, completed. But let's say they didn't do it within those two hours. What's going to happen, two hours, the tag gets applied, which pulls them down to this route. And we put them into this uh, recovery campaign where we're going to, um, within a two-day time frame, we're going to send them about three emails. And each one of those emails are trying to get them to take advantage of this one-time offer. Right. So they go through that process. Boom. Purchase done. If they don't do that within those three days, then we leave them alone. Um, so hopefully they take our action. And in this campaign where we get a opt in, we're able to segment our clients and as well as get them into our group coaching program. So that's going to be it for this particular campaign. Let me go back um, so that I can show you the other one. So we have our one on our one on one coaching offer. We don't want to offer one on one to everyone, right? We want to do this for uh, individuals that are qualified um, to be one on one clients. 
Um, and so let me go ahead and close this and show you what we have here. Um, so in here, we're looking for a tag. And this tag can be applied through automation or it can be applied manually by a salesperson, whoever's doing this. But we're going to apply this tag saying one on one coaching request, right? So we are sending this offer to them so they can request a call. When we apply that tag, we're going to send out this email, right? And we want to get them excited about this. We want them to know, hey, this is an exclusive offer and we want you on our side. So what we're doing is letting them know, hey, we scanned our list for people um, that we think we can impact in a big way. Today, that's you. Right. And then we're going to tell them why. Right. You're motivated. You're talented. You take action. Right. We're giving them all this stuff so they can feel good about themselves. And then from there, we're saying these are the reasons we want to invite you to our discovery car, one on one coaching discovery call. And, you know, check out uh, Jamie, see how this um, this one on one coaching has helped her. And then from there, if you see value in uh, having a coach that's going to help you strategize, design uh, action steps and hold you accountable, request your free discovery call. So the goal is hopefully they do that. Um, and if they do take that action, then great. They press the button, they do it. And then we're going to go back to our campaign so I can explain what happens next. So once they do that, what we're looking for is that they've sub they went to the landing page, they've submitted the application, and we're looking for this tag to be applied. Group coaching application submitted. Once that happens, then um, they filled out the segmentation form on there, right? So when they did the form, we're asking them a question to segment them. We want to understand them. If they picked option one or two, then they're going to go ahead and get this email here. Um, and it's just a very simple email that's like, hey, we're super excited um, that you um, decided to request a discovery call. Click here to schedule on my calendar. Um, and if you notice that we actually have two, why do we have two? Because people that are great qualification, we want to give them 60 minutes. We can spend a little more time with them. People that are kind of, eh, maybe we're going to give them 30 minutes. And for individuals that do not meet um, what we're looking for, we don't think that they're a good fit for one-on-one -on -one coaching based on their application. What we're actually doing here is we're sending them a different email saying, hey, thank you for your interest, right? But... Based on your application, I believe that our group coaching would be a better fit for you. Click here to check it out. But we don't want to be mean and just tell people, nope, we're not going to talk to you. So we did put a little bit of a little um, area in here that says if you once you check out the um, group coaching, if you still think one on one is for the right direction for you, feel free to send us an email. We'll reevaluate. Um, and so. Now, if they do get the scheduling, what we're looking for is that they actually clicked the button. So we want to see, okay, who's clicking it? How many clicks are we getting? And then we use this just to connect the elements. And then what we're waiting on is our scheduling software through Zapier um, using like a Calendarly or um, a different software. We're waiting for it to, um, once they schedule, it's going to apply a tag using the Zapier integration to the contact. And that tag is discovery scheduled. Once they schedule that, then boom, we're done with the campaign. Here, what we're looking for is we're trying to see on the on the uh, downsell, did they actually click the button um, to go check out our group coaching, right? Our one-time offer for group coaching. Then we're connecting the elements and we're waiting to see if they actually purchased the group coaching. If they purchased the group coaching, then boom, they're done. The goal of these campaigns is really to um, make sure that we take the client through the journey, customer journey. I'm going to jump back here for a second, um, is to make sure that we are offering them some free value. We're segmenting the clients so that we understand the client as well as delivering that value. The next thing is like the next natural stage for them is to get the help they need, right? So we want to send them through our group coaching. But some of those people are either one, not going to get what they need from group coaching because they need more one-on-one -on -one attention. And some of them would do great in that. So we also wanted to offer them a different option of being able to use our one-on-one um, -on -one coaching program. But because we can't sit on phones all day trying to meet everyone, we're trying to figure out when is the best time for this person? Who actually qualifies? Who can we make a big impact with? And that's who we're going to offer these one-on-one -on -one, um, um, consulting um, or coaching calls with. So that is our uh, project for Keep. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and it's got some ideas for you and inspired you um, in your own business. So thanks again for being here. And that's it. Thanks.